What makes titanium the metal of the future and space metal? How extensively is titanium used in satellites and the world's largest rocket carriers? Why is titanium better than aluminum and steel in space? And when will titanium stations appear on Mars and the Moon? You are on the Ukrainian Titanium Industry Association channel. Subscribe, like and comment this attracts more viewers to watch our video content and they are really worth it, I mean both viewers and videos. Shall we check? Let's fly! You've surely heard this statement, titanium is a space metal, and it is true, both in its literal and metaphorical senses. I will explain and show you everything in this episode, but first, is the context. In general, it's widely known that space is an aggressive environment. But just how extreme is it? Space can be icy cold, while, simultaneously, the side of a spacecraft exposed to the sun experiences extremely hot temperatures. Such temperature contrasts place considerable stress on the materials used to construct satellites and rockets. Additionally, they are literally bombarded by space dust particles as they traverse through the cosmos. Space radiation is dangerous as well. And finally, consider the vacuum itself. It would seem that emptiness, nothingness, and the boundless absence of air in space cannot be harmful. But as scientists have found out, the vacuum also affects metal. For example, it has been scientifically established that substances such as cadmium, zinc, and magnesium alloys undergo boiling and evaporation in a deep vacuum. Tungsten, platinum, and aluminum demonstrate greater stability and remain relatively usable in these conditions. Meanwhile, steel and titanium stand out as the most durable options in an airless environment. Other metals are absolutely unsuitable for use in outer space. These experiments were conducted relatively recently following the widespread application in space technology. Seventy years ago, during the early days of its use, people were not fully aware of titanium's stability in a vacuum. However, even without this knowledge, titanium boasted numerous other advantages, such as its lightweight nature and remarkable corrosion resistance, which is approximately 50 times greater than that of steel. Ultimately, this determined the rapid growth of its popularity and demand in space technology. Here are some interesting historical facts from astronautics. This is the Moon spacecraft. Utilizing titanium alloys in its construction resulted in a substantial weight reduction of 40 kilograms. This is the Mars spacecraft. Titanium made it 300 kilograms lighter. Venus, minus 250 kilograms. By the way, 96% of its structure was made of titanium alloys. Let's move on. This is the Buran reusable orbiter, for which several new titanium alloys were specially developed. These alloys were in the constructing spacecraft's main power structures, including the frames in the most heavily stressed areas of the tail section and the transitions from the cabin to the cargo compartment, as well as the structures of the wings, rudder, glazing frames, and much more. In case examples from Soviet space history are not so inspiring, here are some from American One, where the significance of titanium is even greater. 10, 9, 8, ignition sequence start, With each launch of the Apollo spacecraft, over 60 tons of titanium alloys were sent into interplanetary space. These alloys were not only used in the Apollo spacecraft itself but also in the lunar module and the iconic Saturn V launch vehicle, which propelled these space travelers on their historic journey to the moon. I'll talk about Saturn V in more detail later, but for now, a few more words about Apollo. In addition to various parts and spare components, there are approximately 40 titanium tanks for storing chemicals that constitute the fuel. Furthermore, the air needed for cabin ventilation during space flights was stored in titanium cylinders under extremely high pressure. Ignition sequence starts. Five, four, we have ignition. All engines are running. We have liftoff, we have liftoff. And this is how the Saturn V, which I mentioned earlier, took off. NASA employed this colossal launch vehicle half a century ago, 
but Saturn V is still the largest launch vehicle in terms of size, weight, and payload capacity. It featured high-pressure tanks and stabilizer blades made entirely of titanium. Moving on to the Titan II rocket that launched the Gemini spacecraft into orbit. It is 27 meters high and 3 meters in diameter, and its entire body is made of titanium. The Gemini spacecraft itself featured a cabin constructed from this remarkable space metal. By the way, the same is true in the Mercury spacecraft. Titanium alloys have found successful applications in the engine housings of other American spacecraft, including Pioneer 4, Juno 2, and Jupiter C. So we can say for sure that titanium is a metal that has contributed to the achievements in space exploration in the past and is still contributing today. This is an indisputable fact. Indeed, titanium continues to bear the title of the metal of the future alongside its reputation as a space metal, hinting at its unfulfilled potential and ongoing promise for humanity. However, the most captivating prospects lie ahead. Let's look beyond the horizon. Colonization of other planets, construction of stations on the moon, with each flight of Elon Musk's ships, it seems less and less fantastic. The future of space exploration is approaching, but people will build orbital and lunar stations directly in space. A critical need will arise for structural materials that are very strong, yet not too heavy, capable of withstanding cold, heat, radiation, You've got the idea. Titanium will be needed. A metal that not only retains all of its advantages in space, but moreover, also eliminates some of its disadvantages. For example, scientists have already proven that welding titanium in interplanetary space is considerably easier, due to the absence of any need to shield the metal from interaction with air, which simply does not exist in the vacuum of space. And another important fact, the very first expedition to the moon brought back rock samples, with an exceptionally high titanium concentration, surpassing that found in Earth's crust by a significant percentage. In other words, the moon is rich in titanium, presenting a remarkable opportunity for the development of space metallurgy. What does it mean? Scientists have long envisioned the establishment of titanium production facilities on the lunar surface, powered by solar energy. Titanium extraction and smelting operations could be conducted on-site, facilitating the construction of entirely new space settlements. Indeed, this vision may seem like a fantastical dream, but it is firmly grounded in science. Consider that space travel itself was once deemed unrealistic. However, for more than 60 years, humanity has ventured beyond, into the realms of stars and planets, and titanium which is a unique space metal played not the least role in this endeavor. So how else titanium will play a pivotal role in humanity's conquest of space? I hope we will wait and see. And much sooner next week, we will show you something else fascinating about titanium in Ukraine and the world. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it like and comment. Thank you for your attention and look forward to seeing you soon.